gang, I got a topic so good, I don't even think I need an intro for this. Let's get right into it. So when did Grand Theft Auto become the place for the griefers, gang? That's the question I need to know, and that's the answers that I need to have right now in this video. So gang, if y'all don't know, I play Grand Theft Auto, and I play Grand Theft Auto a lot. I stream the game, play the game, upload the game, everything around the game. Come around with Grand Theft Auto, I get into it, right? And gang, I know I'm probably like 10 plus years late with this topic right here, but it's something that needs to be said or at least asked in the community so I can have a better understanding on why this happened, how this happened, and when did this happen, for real, for real, because I honestly God don't know. So like I said, man, when did GTA become the game or like become the go-to space, go-to safe space for the randomest weirdos, the randomest creeps, the weirdest, like, like scum of the earth and i know a lot of people like are you serious right now how do you not or how was you asking this question because brody i don't know if it's because i'm just old school about the way i play gta or if it's just something that i just don't understand because i just haven't been involved with the community as much as i should be in over the past few years especially when it comes down to like pvp related stuff i just don't understand that shit, man so it's just like where did the weirdness come from bro because when i think of gta right when i think of gta and this is the way i've always thought about it because i've been playing gta since gta was gta i play every single Grand Theft Auto game ever known to man at least ones that rockstar have released at least and when i think about the type of players or the type of people that play the game you new niggas is not what I think about. I'm just going to be honest with you, gang. When I think about GTA players, or at least the way that I used to think about GTA players, I used to think about real life gangster niggas. Like, I used to think about straight gangster shit. I don't understand, bro. Like, I never thought about weirdos. I never thought about creeps. I never thought about stalking niggas. I never thought about fucking weird old hacking niggas and, and niggas that want to, you know what I'm saying, follow you around in the game and do little weird shit and act like they good. Like, I never thought about these niggas, bro. And it's like in my brain, what the fuck did this happen, bro? Why the fuck did this become okay in this game? Now, granted, gang, again, I'm not in the business of trying to tell motherfuckers how to play their game that they paid for, that their daddy paid for, their mama paid for, or that they stole from their cousin's house. I'm not in the, in the business of doing that. But I do feel like I can at least try to at least understand why these niggas do the things that they do is it literally just off the laws like do people literally do this shit because they find it funny especially when it come down to streamers buddy like i understand normal players or non-streaming players they deal with this type of shit too but for me as a streamer i deal with this shit times 10. i will literally get on the game no matter what time i go live bro i can go live at five o'clock in the morning i can go live at seven o'clock in the morning i can go live at fucking 11 oh 11 13 or some shit just a random ass time buddy and the same weird old niggas will be there hot and ready to go ready to be fucking weird and it's like i don't understand that shit bro when did this shit become acceptable when did the game play the way that niggas play the game become acceptable the way that you niggas move become acceptable. All this type of unacceptable shit, bro. When did GTA become just the most scummiest ass accepted fucking gameplay of all time? Like, niggas in this game accept all type of dumb shit, bro. You niggas will accept anything. Like, how the fuck did these niggas gameplay become acceptable? How the fuck did it be acceptable to be... I'm about to die if I do that right now. How did it become acceptable to be a fucking EO looper? Like something that I said in my stream literally the other day. When the fuck did, did it become comp to kill yourself in a video game to avoid getting murdered, bro? No cap. Like when did that become fucking acceptable? When did it become acceptable for a person to hide off radar all game, be in an RC all game, throw sticky bombs out the RC, literally cheating, hacking the game or exporting the game to, to a point where you know that shit should be going on and niggas consider themselves great at the game. Is it the Arminate? It, it, it gotta be the Arminate, my G. It gotta be the Arminate game. Like, I don't understand this shit, bro. And again, bro, I'm speaking as somebody that been playing this game for a long time. Somebody that actually loved GTA for what it is, bro, and just what it used to be, man. Like I said, I don't mind New Age GTA. I'm glad new people are picking up the game and enjoying the game for what it is and just doing stuff like that. I'm glad that that's going on, man. But holy macaroni, man. And not even that. To be honest, 
the little the, the things that I'm talking about right now are literally like the little stuff that be going on. I'm bro, getting to the big stuff, bro. You got your weird old D Dawson niggas that like to just sit around and, and wait for somebody to go live and try to D Dawson motherfucker to get to a, get to a point where you can't even play the game the way you want to play the game, Brody. Or you got just all type of weirdos, man. You got just your, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't get me wrong, not all the weirdos are bad. Not each and every last one of y'all just suck though. But a lot of y'all niggas just so damn weird, man. You got your people that they show you love or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? They weird is love showing, but it's still weird, man. You got your, you just got all that, bro. It's so complex, bro. And I'm guessing it's because of some point of fact that GTA Online is just a complex game with complex features with so many different play styles and there's this room for everybody. But never in a million years would you have told me that this is what goes on in GTA Online and I would have been like, yeah, that's a bit. I, 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 I can see that. I ain't gonna lie. That, that, that makes a lot of sense, buddy. Because it don't to me, man. A lot of ways y'all play the games, a lot of the stuff that y'all be doing, it literally makes zero sense to me. Like, I have no earth idea that this be going on or how this be happening. Like, don't get me wrong, I become so much accustomed to it now to the point where it don't really bother me that much, but it's just something that I still feel like need to be discussed in some way, form, or fashion, bro. Like, we need to have a discussion about how weird the community has gotten over the past few years. And I want to know is it because, well, I know I can't say it's because of the simple point of fact that they bored and they waiting for GTA 6 or something. Because like I said, they've been doing this shit for years. These weird old players and people that just want to follow you around and kill you and stuff like that. They just weird. Like, I'm at the point, bro, well, say like this. This is how weird people are, man. You will block somebody, right? You will block somebody. First of all, it take a lot for a nigga to block me. Like, you got to be a high-level type of weird, or you just got to have, like, no chill in your system, right, for me to block you. Bro, uh, you can block a nigga, right? And the nigga that you block still will go out their way to try to find ways into your lobby just to do little Rudy Poo dumb bullshit every single day. It's like, bro, do you niggas not have jobs? Do you niggas not have a social life? Do you niggas not have anything to do outside of this goddamn game being a fucking weirdo? Like, yo niggas, like, bro, y'all niggas don't get no pussy? Do you niggas not get buns? Do y'all niggas not get no money? Do y'all niggas got no motion? Because you ain't getting no motion in this 12-year-old game. This game, holy shit, we don't care no more, bro. I just want to understand y'all mindset. I just want to understand the mindset and get other people's insight on y'all weird niggas' mindset. And if you're a weird nigga, bro, I'm, I'm bashing your ass. Don't get me wrong, I'm on your ass. But at the same time, I'm not on your ass just to bash your ass. I'm on your ass to try to understand you, bro. I want to understand why you do the stuff you do. Is it just because it's funny? Is it just because we're live streamers and you can get a live from reaction and that shot of feels your ego a little bit or is you just was you just a weird nigga that's just miserable and you just like that type of shit and another thing is bro it's crazy because like as creators or as people we kind of write it off bro as oh you just a kid oh he's just a child he's just a little dude he ain't really on that he just bored ain't gotta go to school just doing stuff these children they just running wild in Grand Theft Auto like Hulkamania but in reality bro I sat down and I thought about this thing gang and it's like bro kids ain't really doing this bro kids ain't really doing at least not the little small kids that we be thinking about game you see what i'm saying most kids especially small kids if they see a streamer right they see a content creator or something like that unless they just a very 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 unique like uniquely toxic kid because them niggas exist don't get me wrong but most kids i'm gonna say anywhere between that five to ten year old range they ain't gonna really be on the type of timing that some of these weirdos niggas be on. Most kids, yeah, they might kill you or whatever, but it's gonna be basic shit. You're gonna be able to tell, like, huh, you just really just trolling. You just trying to have fun and just really kick it with a streamer. Most kids, they're gonna ignore you, they're gonna annoy you in other ways. They're gonna annoy you by always being in your face emote, always trying to get you in their car, always in the mic asking you questions and shit like that, always sending you messages and shit like that. That's the type of annoying shit that real like kid to do bro most of these niggas bro these niggas be grown ass men or grown enough adults to know what the fuck they doing and to be able to hold they self accountable for the actions that they doing in this world bro most of you niggas be grown as 
fuck, bro. Y'all niggas be grown. And that shit is ridiculous, bro. Y'all niggas be grown as hell following grown men around in a video game, bro, and thinking that shit tight. That shit is not tight, bro, in reality. Bro, like, I'm gonna tell you like this, bro. Would you, if, if somebody was to go out their way, if the world was to go out their way and find out you're the person behind your GTA Online account, would you be embarrassed? If you would be embarrassed, then nine times out of 10, you need to think about your life situations, gang. You need to be like, holy shit, bro. The world just found out I'm an online weirdo. Like, my nigga, what? That shit be crazy, bro, because like, these niggas be grown men. These probably be the niggas that we work with. These probably be the niggas that we cross paths with. These be grown men. Some of these niggas probably be older than us. I'm 28 years old, where some of you niggas probably well in your 30s and 40s doing this weird ass shit. Playing the game weird as hell. Texting niggas weird ass messages and shit, boy. Y'all grown, boy. Oh, God. Y'all weird as fuck. <laughs> I can't really explain that shit no other way, man. It's just like, in my brain, I just truly want to understand when the fuck did this type of shit become acceptable in the GTA Online community. Like, niggas like y'all, bro, I expect to see niggas like y'all playing Valorant. I expect seeing niggas like y'all on Call of Duty, because Call of Duty always been toxic, but I expect y'all niggas on fucking Call of Duty. I expect y'all weird-ass niggas on fucking, what that game called, Genshin Impact and shit like that. Fucking playing some weird-ass shit like that, gang. Y'all niggas is on Grand Theft Auto, boy. I thought Grand Theft Auto was a place for gangsters. Niggas with nothing but a gun in their hands and they nuts on they motherfucker in between their legs and you get gangsters. Y'all niggas turned this shit into a cesspit of weirdoism. And I see why a lot of creators, they don't even stream this game. I see why a lot of creators don't be in public sessions. I see why a lot of creators avoid a bunch of this weirdo nigga shit that they can, bro, because y'all niggas is really weird. Y'all weird! Y'all weird, man. Like, for the ones that's not weird, I'm not talking to you, though, but for the ones that's really weird, for the niggas that really be doing what they be doing and be on this type of weirdo time, I'm not talking about niggas that just be killing niggas in the lobby and shit. I'm talking about you real, you real life GTA weirdo niggas. The niggas that don't know when to leave it alone. The niggas that always follow you. The niggas that's always doing shit. Always... Like deliberately, deliberately just being weird. And everybody in the community know what I'm talking about when I say this shit, buddy. Even if you're not the weirdo nigga, you have at least, if you play in public sessions or have ever experienced public sessions over an extended period of time, you have ran into a weirdo nigga at least one time in your fucking life. Especially if you're a streamer, though. If you're a streamer and you got some type of motion in the GTA community, GTA Online community to be exact, you definitely have ran into these niggas, bro. But that's all I got, Brody, man. You weirdo niggas. Y'all niggas be pissing me off. You weirdo niggas is just a very interesting breed of nigga when it come down to this goddamn GTA Online video game. And I just still don't understand y'all, and I don't know if it's gonna stop when GTA 6 come out, because y'all just gonna bring y'all weird ass back with that weird ass energy, doing weird ass shit, thinking that you're a, a real nigga, but you're a weirdo. I'm gone, man.